Could be another frustrating drive into work if you travel westbound on I-70 through downtown. Tonight, the interstate is still closed after a fire. And there's a chance it may not be open in time for tomorrow morning's rush. The fire started at a homeless camp under the bridge at Truman Road. Once the flames were put out, a body was found, and the bridge may have also been damaged. KCTV5's Emily Rittman joins us live now with that update. Emily, how does the scene look there tonight? Well, Carolyn, we'll give you a look. It's much of the same right now. We are still not seeing any traffic moving in those westbound lanes. We did just see some crews that were doing some work leave the top of the bridge here. Now, a spokesperson for the city of Kansas City, Missouri, said, quote, the city is saddened to hear about the tragic loss of life in the underpass fire. Deepest sympathies are extended to the family and friends of the deceased. Kansas City firefighters responded around 6 o'clock this morning to a large structure on fire under the bridge. Around 7, firefighters called Kansas City police to the scene to investigate the deadly fire that killed one person. Foul play was not immediately suspected. The stretch of highway westbound above the location of where the fire started was shut down until further notice. MoDOT inspectors spent much of the day assessing the damage to the bridge to determine what repairs are needed. Checking the structural integrity of the bridge. We're checking damage to girders, to the connections uh, between the girders. Um, and, uh, you know, those critical components. Fires at encampments have previously caused structural damage to a bridge in Kansas City. In 2015, a fire under the Beardsley Road Bridge damaged concrete and bent two bridge girders. It cost 400000 to repair. A second fire at the same bridge in 2018 cost $2 million to repair. The second fire caused significant damage to the concrete piers and bent five bridge girders. More information about potential repairs to the bridge near Truman Road and I-70 is expected tomorrow after crews can complete a full assessment. Certainly we understand the impacts of closing I-70 near downtown. And we really just want to make sure the bridge is safe for all travelers. And that's our number one priority. A spokesperson for the city of Kansas City sent a written statement following today's fire that said addressing housing insecurity and providing resources to the houseless community remains a top priority for the city. We will have their full statement for you on our website, kctv5.com. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Emily, thanks for that update. And KCTV5's Grace Chapin will be keeping an eye, too, on the traffic overnight. And she'll have the latest updates and detours on KCTV5 News this morning, starting at 430.